Welcome back. It's uh, well, it's she, belly scratching she's time. She's set a terrible example. As, as oh my gosh! Yeah, and, and you fell for her moves because she she started doing. Some she moves just there flipped you, right over. You knew exactly what we're, what yeah. she was doing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought her today because she's. It'll keep me occupied. Comment. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're going to talk with uh, Dr. Chris Bryant. Uh, he's for the Center for Women today, and. Uh, uh, that, is that an umbrella under the Baxter Regional Medical Center, or is it associated with it, or is it totally separate? It's actually totally separate, but um, okay. in the community here that we're treating with, uh, taking care of patients in the community, it's a joint effort in making sure that all of those services are needed to the community here. Mm -hmm. So I would say we're associated with each other in the common goal of right. helping the medical community. And then uh, Center for Women, what does that, what does that encompass? Well, the Center for Women is made up of um, physicians and nurse practitioners uh, that deal with uh, just about the entire health of women that uh, women may run into, specifically the addition of gynecologic oncology, which is the specialty I'm in, which is dealing with women's cancers. So mm -hmm. the, um, not only during the reproductive years do we help women with um, starting their families or making their families grow, but uh, even into their later years when women can be faced with difficult challenges mm -hmm. with cancers that can mm -hmm. afflict them. Now, and just a second, yes. women's cancers, do you mean like ovarian cancer and things like that? Because breast cancer can be male or female, Absolutely. though it's predominantly female, obviously. So when you say women's cancers, there really are specific women's cancers. Are there any besides ovarian or uterine? Yep, women's cancers deal with the reproductive organs. So usually breast okay. is not included in okay. that. Uh, we have some great breast surgeons here in mm -hmm. the general surgery groups, but the reproductive organs. So it would be those parts of the external part of the, a woman's anatomy, mm -hmm. including the cervix and uterus and tubes and ovaries. So all mm -hmm. of those areas are prone and to you or can be specifically in those. That's my that's my wow. area of interest. That's, mm -hmm. that's very wonderful to have that here in town. Mm -hmm. Terrific. So so that's uh, is it basically a private practice then? It's a private practice model where but we we try to participate in care with all of the patients regardless of, of their ability to pay and help them as as much as we can. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a common goal with the hospital and the community to try to make sure we're meeting everybody's needs. Mm -hmm. Are you taking new patients now? <clears throat> yep, the, the office is open and some are more busy than others with mm -hmm. me just being here a short time. Of course, there's always room to, to see people and work people in, but definitely uh, our whole group is seeing new right. patients. Mm -hmm. Is this a new unit at the hospital? There, or has there always been a center for women, several years? There's always been a center for women for quite some time. But I you're guess just expanding it? We're expanding it and trying to make sure that um, Gynecologic cancers, or that's the technical name for the women's cancers, mm -hmm. is that it's actually a rare specialty. There's only about four in the whole state, including me. Mm -hmm. And wow. they're usually wow. at the referral centers. You know, they'll either mm -hmm. be at St. Louis or Little Rock or Memphis. Um, so that's a new well, thing the, that we're offering here. What's the attraction for you to be here in Mount well, these, The people here are very nice. Yeah. The lakes are awesome, yeah. and I love the trout fishing. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it's, it's good I to be I think that's a pretty that. standard answer <clears> if, you yeah. know, people say, well, you know, why'd you come here? Yeah. But what, what age... Uh, 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 women that you don't take in. Is there any age? There may be break? some. Yeah, there may be like some before childbearing. Yeah, there may be thing? some that are called still pediatric patients that okay. are still maybe seen by the pediatrician commonly. Mm -hmm. uh, any surgeries that are usually need by a real young woman in her prepubertal age mm -hmm. or something. You know, they probably are best served if they're sent down to Children's in Little Rock mm -hmm. or something like that. But it's not something that we can't help arrange or participate in their care. Mm -hmm. Now what about, um, uh, let's see, I was going to ask you, uh, d does all your patients have to be referred to from a general practitioner? Well, since, or, we, or not? since we actually, we, we function on multiple levels, including women's well, well examinations, which are done every single year. And that's a part of primary care, meaning that you're paying attention to women's health and participating with their prevention, whether it's diabetes or hypertension. Mm -hmm. But we do have a lot of referrals that come in from uh, internist and family practice physicians that during their health examinations find something that's abnormal that needs to be investigated yeah. further by us. Mm -hmm. so, so you do encompass uh, other, other, other illnesses other than just cancers? Right? We, do, we, we do participate with them if it's something that we need a specialist with or their internist to work with we sort of do a joint effort but there are a lot of women that we're their primary provider and give the majority of the health care mm -hmm. to yes. Mm -hmm. Well okay. you know the women's center uh, other than you know uh, cancers and things like that. I know there's a separate aging center, but do you do anything for women? Do women have specific aging problems that men don't have? That kind of thing. You know, that probably universally, man or woman, uh, cancer risks go up as mm -hmm. you get older. 
and probably what we see for women, especially in this area, is that they try to become a little more relaxed with having the exams or yeah. seeing their doctors, just yeah. like men. Yeah. None of us like to go mm -hmm. see the doctor. The physicals, the and mammograms. And the physical exams like and the mammograms and stuff. And there are actually some useful tools, uh, not only for breast and colon, but for the gynecologic cancers that help in uh, detecting earlier or reducing the risk that go along with those cancers. Mm -hmm. right. And you don't really get to an age where you're kind of clear either, do you? Well, it, uh, each person's care needs to be a little bit individualized. Mm -hmm. Recommendations are different from depending on which society you're talking to. Um, but I think that uh, as long as someone's in good health to mm -hmm. continue with their health screening and their annual examinations is really important. So uh, uh, our uh, viewers out there, if they have a question, they can call your office, I would assume? Yep. Directly? Our, directly. Our office number is 870-425-7300. We have a wonderful staff that will either help get the answer or contact one of us or do what we can do to help. Okay. But well, now, does the Winterman Center then serve as <coughs> a hub for this, like some of the doctors? You mentioned Dr. Barrow and Dr. Wren. And, and so the, you could contact the Women's Center and they could kind of direct you to a specific doctor? Actually, the, the Center help? for Women is actually us. So, oh, you're uh, Okay. Yep. You you're get, all there. You get us. So we're all right there in the same place. Uh, continue to grow. Just about to take over the Medical Arts Building, <laughs> at least the second and third floors. So Wonderful. I think it's, yep, if you call that number, you, you get our office directly. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, Dr. Chris Bryant, so so good to meet you, and th thank, thank you. you for coming and over. And how long have you been here? Been here about a month. Oh well. Oh hey. <laughs> so Welcome to our office. Where'd you it come from? Cools off a little bit. We'll do Came from work. Michigan, but I'm born and raised in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Oh well, so, then you're home. So back home. You're yes. home with no mosquitoes. Right. No, with no mosquitoes. It's home very with important. No mosquitoes. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Oh, we're just scratching the surface, and we'll ask you to come back at, at some point in time. Maybe That'd we'll be great. More deep into the subject. Sounds good. I appreciate you having me. All right. Up next, uh, Melody Sykes and, and Jamie Bohannon. Jamie Bohannon from the Girl Scouts is going to be talking about that. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.